Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to see the unit 4 that is assessment and management of intranatal period and this unit consists of 17 marks. But the thing is not just this unit, unit 3 and unit 4 both combined together you will get 17 marks that is 1 from 10 marks, 1 from 5 marks and 1 from 2 marks. If you study 2 chapters that is 3 and 4 you are perfect with 17 marks. Now the first topic is labor. What is labor? Labor is nothing but delivery that is the birth of baby. And the definition is it is the process by which the fetus is expelled. Expelled in the sense it uh, comes out. Expelled from the uterine cavity from the uterus after the gestation period. Gestation period in the sense that is 9 months. The 9 months the baby stays in the womb that is known as gestation period. So labor is nothing but the process in which the baby comes out from the uterus after completing the gestation period that is labor. Next mechanism of labor. Mechanism of labor is nothing but the steps like it is the series of movement. Series of movement in the sense the movement continuously takes place and that occur on the head and the fetal the trunk in the process of adaptation during the journey through the pelvic in the sense series of movement like movement takes place and then the birth of the baby starts with head first the baby's head comes out from the vagina and then baby's trunk trunk in the sense body comes out and then leg is delivered in this process the baby is delivered and this journey we consider to be the mechanism of labor now let's see what are the principal movements principal movements are nothing but the steps that are undergone by the fetus in the time of labor okay so first step is engagement engagement of the head generally baby stays in the womb but at the time of delivery the baby comes out like comes down and the baby's head is engaged in the process and this step is known as engagement of head and this is the first step in the labor Next, here we can see the descent and uh, descent is specifically mentioned here. This is actually the process which is seen in the whole labor. From here, in every step, you can see the descent. Descent is nothing but the movement, uh, contraction of uterus and relaxation of uterus muscle makes the baby to move and comes out. No, that motion is known as descent. In every step, we can see this descent. Baby moves and goes down. No, that process is known as descent. And it is specifically mentioned here because from here the descent begins. Next, flexion of head. Flexion of head is nothing but you can see here. The baby's head is normal and here the baby's head is moved forward a bit. It is because on going downwards, the passage, the way is getting smaller. So on going smaller, smaller, the baby's head is bent forward. And that is known as flexion of head. Next, internal rotation. Internal rotation is nothing but internally baby rotates. Inside the womb before coming out, baby rotates for the safe delivery. That is for 45 degree it keeps on ro rotating. Here you can see the baby is in this position. Now the baby is in this position. Like baby rotates this way. This way. 45 degree. And that is internal rotation. After internal rotation, the next step is actually croning and it is not present here. Croning in the sense, it is nothing but the fetus head is visible from outside. If you think this is vagina, the fetus head will be visible from outside and that step is known as croning. After croning, you can see the extension. Extension in the sense, so this is mother's body. From mother's body, you can see the fetus head has been came out. And this is known as extension or the birth of head. In this stage, this incipit, face and chin, this three will be swept out from the mother's womb. And that is extension, extension or the birth of head. Between extension and external rotation, there is one step that is known as restitution. This restitution is almost similar to the external rotation. That is, the restitution is nothing but the rotation of head in 45 degree. As you see in this step, the head is in this position. And in this step, the head's position has been changed. In middle, there is a rotation of head. That is known as a restitution. And this external rotation is nothing but with the head rotation, the body also start to rotate. That is, you can see the hand position here and the hand and leg position here. There is a change in that. 
so the restitution is nothing but only the head rotates 45 degree whereas external rotation is nothing but external rotation of head and internal rotation of shoulder that is external rotation mentioned here in the sense head is also rotating with the respect to with that the body is also rotating that is external rotation next after that there is expulsion expulsion the says the birth already the face has been came out next the shoulder and trunk and then leg the baby comes out the expulsion takes place and this expulsion takes place in lateral flexion remember the position how the baby comes out in the lateral flexion and descent is a process that follows throughout the labor and this is the principal movements of labor questions will be provided at the end of the chapter until then stay tuned meet you in the next video bye